So, in order to better understand that strange backward motion of the planets, that retrograde motion, I made this JavaScript model. And I did this the easy way. I started with this left side, with the heliocentric model, which is of course quite easy to program. I simply added the correct distances and the correct velocities of the planets. And then I used a simple mathematical trick known as a coordinate transformation to go from this model to the geocentric model. And to do this I simply calculate the distance of the Sun and the planets as seen from the Earth at every step. And then I simply plot those distances with now the Earth here at the center. And remarkably this only takes a few lines of code and then you can get this incredibly complicated system. Now let's start with the inner planets. Let's start first with Mercury. As mentioned in the lecture, you can easily see that Mercury rotates around the Sun, even when you look at the geocentric picture. And here we clearly see that that backward motion that you see here, for instance, is caused because Mercury is rotating around the Sun while the Sun rotates around us. The same goes for Venus. Let's add Venus now. So here we see both Mercury and Venus, and as you can see, they're both circling around the Sun, as is consistent with the heliocentric model. The only difference being that Venus takes quite a larger orbit. And the pattern of Venus, by the way, is especially beautiful, since it creates a five-pointed flower, as you can see right here. You see those five petals right there. Not a bad idea for a tattoo, by the way, this image. Let's now look at the outer planets. Here we have Jupiter and Saturn, and I speed it up a bit. So, what do we see here? If you look carefully, you see that the retrograde motion of the outer planets beautifully mimics the rotation of the Sun. The Sun and the outer planets seem to move in unison with each other. And this is of course because we have to view this motion actually from the Sun instead of from the Earth. As seen from the Sun, the outer planets make a simple circular orbit, as you can see here. And this is also evidence for that heliocentric motion. It would have been too crazy a coincidence if the outer planets moved exactly in sync with the Sun all the time. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Hey, good to see you. This is Stefan, author of In Search of the Sublime. On this World History Channel, we'll trace humanity's relentless pursuit of scientific truth, moral excellence and enlightenment. We'll meet anyone from Mesopotamian astronomers and Indian yogis to Greek philosophers and enlightenment scientists. And you'll meet them firsthand using primary sources, giving you valuable insights that transcend the surface level understanding you get on other channels. Go check it out for yourself.